Ah, greetings. I picked up a few things at Harbor Freight. I, oh, yeah, this looks lovely. Everything is disheveled in here. Uh, oh, well, I guess I'll have to figure it out. That's a darn shame. Everything, pretty much, almost everything stayed in, in the uh, lid. But as you can see, not so good. So I'm going to have to figure that all out. Something I just assume not do, but what are you going to do? So, I didn't really need that, but I thought, you know, you can always have extra bits and all, you know, extra um, torques and, and squares and Phillips, and whatever. So, uh, another thing I bought is I got the Pittsburgh, kind of bright, uh, I'm trying to get it so uh, well maybe I shut this light off here all right that seemed to help bring out the contrast or not wash it out so this is to install the timing chain uh, the harmonic balancer because uh, you know I am going to be doing that not in the too distant future and then also I, I found some of the parts for my wheel puller but I didn't find you know, I, I found whatever this thing is. I don't know what you call it, wishbone. So I figured, out ah, what the heck, I'll just buy the whole set, and I'll have it, and I'll try to be a little more creative with uh, my keeping it together. I've had so many toolbox. Well, I can't say I've had so many. I've never had a really big toolbox until a couple of years ago, and I went to uh, um, Home Depot, and I bought the whatever it is uh, and it was it's pretty big it's pretty nice although in hindsight i i think i should have bought the harbor freight uh you know like 900 dollars on sale you can get them for like 9.99 but they're nice they're 72 inches and they're cabinet style and then you can put a, a top box on them so i thought that uh you know i didn't think it at the, at the time you know i just ah, whatever so i ended up buying it but i got a deal on it i, I went and picked it up and it was already on assembled on wheels and I, I was going to put it, I don't know if I had my SUV then or my, I, it doesn't really matter, but the guy that was bringing it out, it was, they're, they're long, but they're kind of narrow. And then he hit some rough spot and it came, went flying over and crashed to the ground. So picked it up, looked at it and I went in and told the store and I said, well, listen, what happened? The guy's pushing it out there, fell over, bingo, bango, it's kind of messed up. So she says, we'll give you $100 off. So I went and looked closer at it, and the, the top lid that goes on the top box was skewed. So it was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. So I ended up, they treated me really good at Home Depot. I must say, I, I ended up getting that uh, the better box, more uh, more expensive, like $700 box, $750, something like that. And it's got the soft closed drawers and things like that. And it was like, they gave it to me for the same price as I was going to buy the other one for like 550 So I saved a couple hundred bucks on it just by the employee screwing up. I mean, it, they offered it. It's not like I beat them up on it or anything like that. They said, well, listen, how would you be interested? I'll give you $200 off X, Y, Z boxes. Yeah, sure. I think that's fair. The only thing that wasn't put together was in boxes. So I ended up loading it up and taking it home. And, being by myself, a little bit of a challenge. I got the base together first, and then, yeah, I think I, I think it was in my pickup truck. I don't remember. But, uh, you know, it was up in the high in the deck, you know, in the bed. And I was able to, you know, just slide it off and set it onto the rolling cabinet. And I put it in the thing there, loaded it up with a bunch of stuff. Although, I mean, you get a lot of wrenches and screwdrivers and pliers and things like that. It's got some big drawers on the bottom. I put a bunch of power tools and electric and then I got another couple drawer like this I got some electric I mean not electric I'm sorry air operated tools but I'm I'm down the road here I'm gonna go and buy that uh, Harbor Freight one that's a nice nice box and I did some research on it and it turns out that's built as good as actually better than a lot of the high-end boxes because of the way they the, the thickness of the steel and things like that it, it, I was impressed, and you know, I'm more than willing to, you know, 
Maybe I'm pressing Z. I don't know. But it's like, okay, well, that'll be good. So I'm going to get that. And I like the idea of having a, a countertop. So add that to what I already have. And then with all those drawers, I'm going to be pretty much set. So invest another $999 for a toolbox. Yeah, it'll last forever. So I've got a couple little small top boxes, Craftsman's, I think. And eh, they're not that great. But I mean, they the small drawers are good for drill bits, loose drill bits, not in a container and little bits. Uh, um, Philip said bits I bought a container of them because you know you lose them all the time you know it's just at least I do so yeah that that's pretty good and then uh trying to think what else well for now that's it I want to press I have an arbor press I think I bought it at Home Depot not Home Depot Harbor Freight I mean it's hard to screw that up I I used it already and it's okay and, you know, it's it's functional, and I like function as opposed to function. Although I'm thinking, I've been looking at different tools. I was thinking about buying the Tekton tools, although a lot of their stuff is still made in uh, China or Taiwan. Not all of it. A lot of it is made in this country. They're out of Minnesota, I think. Uh, and then I was looking, uh, Harbor Freight's got those uh, icon tools. Those are pretty nice. And then there's another tool manufacturer, and I can't really remember their name. I I looked at their website, but now I don't remember what it was. It's like four-letter word, if I remember correctly. Something like five letters. I don't really remember. So I'm, I'm going to do a little research on that. I mean, I really don't need anything right now. i got plenty of screwdrivers and pliers and uh, wrenches, you know, metric and things. Sockets. I, I could use more sockets, only because you lose them, you know, you Nine sixteenths is popular. Half inch is popular, so they get. I won't say misplaced. They drop down in the motor or something like that, or maybe they get misplaced. You know, so I don't know. I'm gonna do that. Other than that, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Listen, thanks. Uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube if you would, and you know, like that would be great. And we'll just. I don't know if this is really any worthwhile video to watch I just don't know I mean I'm interested in a lot of the things like the stuff that I get from Harbor Freight although I don't buy everything from Harbor Freight you know some things I avoid you know like I was when I was building trailers I was I designed a trailer and then I was building it and I was using the Harbor Freight four inch cutoff so a four and a half inch I don't really remember because I went through a bunch of them but you get them on sale for ten bucks so you know it lasts they always lasted long enough, and I used the crap out of them. So it was like I was cutting steel and doing that all the time. So uh, if they function, so if it broke, you know, like one of them, I ended up cutting the wire the, somehow. I don't remember how I even did it. So I just said, oh, well, just threw it away, went and got another one. And it still ran. It, it was functional. Just I just like, eh, bare wires or something. I, I don't remember, but it, I trashed it. Um, so 10 bucks, I bought another one. And I don't know if they're still 10 bucks because I really don't do that kind of thing anymore. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't in the future. I wish I was a better welder. I suck at it. I really do. And I can't see, you know, when you put the welding helmet on, I have a couple of the auto darkening things. I really can't see what I'm doing. So what I have to do is put a couple of halogen spotlights there and point them at the weld. And then I can actually see. Uh, but I don't know if that defeats the purpose of a welding mask or not. I don't think so, but what, what the heck do I know? And I'm not looking straight at it. I'm aiming it at my work position. So other than that, I'm pretty much, that's all I got to say for now. So, yeah, uh, you know, Harbor Freight, I mean, I'm, if I was a professional mechanic, I probably wouldn't buy as many Harbor Freight uh but I certainly wouldn't buy Mac tools, and I wouldn't buy uh, Snap-on. They're out of their freaking minds. They're just thirty dollars for a wrench, please. You know. So, and I mean, they're good, but they're not that good. There's a guy up there called uh, the Den of Tools, so, something like that. I watch. He does. Uh, uh, 
kind of not a survey, but uh, he tries out different things and he goes and he does some research and he posts up and he likes the tecton and he and he likes the icon uh, and he did a research on or investigated all the different you know snap on and mac and the uh, the, the big box stores the, whatever they sell um you know they all sell a particular brand you know and then stanley i have never been happy with stanley stuff their stuff sucks you know i bought a Matter of fact, I got a battery jump box right over there. Man, it didn't last any time at all. The only way it really works is if I have it continually plugged into an AC, you know, and, and then I'll use it to charge the battery in my jet ski or my motorcycle. It's like, that's crap. And so, and I've had other things. I got some lights from them. You know, when I was a trucker, heavy duty flashlights are important, you know, brightness and things like that. And I bought some pretty humongous looking things. They just didn't last. They're they're just nah. No more Stanley. It's got Stanley on it. I'm done. I'm not gonna get any of their stuff. And DeWalt, they've gone down the tubes. And I think Stanley owns DeWalt. So I saw some other things today, and they look pretty good. Um, I'm trying to remember who it is. Well, it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, I don't need it. I bought. I use a lot of Royobi battery operated stuff. I tell you what. Prices are a little lower, but for what I do, I got the little five and a half inch circular saw. Man, that is a cut and fool. That thing works really well, and it's only what a 19 volt, 80, 18 or 19 volt battery. It works good. I got a sawzall from them. I came in a kit, and that little sawzall, man, I tell you what, boy, that thing does a good job. Um, I'm, I don't remember what else. Okay. I've got about three of their drills. I got the little impact driver. I got the one with the the quick for the for the hex things you know tools that go in there so and you know I've used it a few times it's it works pretty good I mean I can't say it works great actually I won't even say pretty good because I've never had an issue with it um, and that's pretty much oh I got the leaf blower although I rarely use that it's just 40 volt battery I think that and I have something else the leaf blower. I don't remember what it is. I got something. Uh, and it works okay. Uh, oh, line trimmer. Uh, it works okay, but I got a, a Royobi. I think it's a Royobi gas. Pull the motor, fire it up. That works pretty good. It's got the detachable or uh, you can change the uh, the head. So I've got, I've got the edger, the metal blade, and then I also have the, the the wire, uh, wire, I guess you would call it, string. Yeah, so eh, that's okay. So other than that, I'm happy with the Royobi because it's a little less expensive and it seems to give me the same performance out of anything. I mean, I'm not a professional, so I really can't make a judgment call. All I can say is what works for me. So other than that, it's been fun and thanks for watching. And if this goes up anywhere, you know, just please subscribe and you know, like, and I'd like to do more. Uh, you know, I'm going to do more when I get this Corvette done. I'm going to buy another car or something else. I'd like to have a rat rod. That would be fun. And But I, I, you know, that's down the road a little bit. Although, in my advancing years, down the road may come a lot sooner than you would think. Well, thanks again, and I appreciate it. And have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.